will arrive soon I promise that's one last thing I have to fold honey <laughs> yes go. you put that on because that's one last thing I have to fold well, I was thinking of you baby thank you <laughs> okay you guys let me show you the cards I got in my PO box yesterday this is so adorable <laughs> Look at this, you guys. Whoops. Look at this. <laughs> Marsha, Jan, and Cindy. <laughs> oh, and they all have they all have little ribbons in their hair. Oh, it's so precious. <laughs> and look at look at the stickers. Isn't that cute? Michelle and family, happy Easter to the coolest chick I know. Love Sadie. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sadie. And think I I got a lottery ticket. If I win, I'll have to go down to Pennsylvania to see ya. <laughs> look at look at the sticker that was on the back. <laughs> Thank you so much. Then I got this card here. All the Easter cards are coming in. Way to go! Uh, Canada Post <laughs> for a special family at Easter wherever you go may joy fill the air wherever you look may beauty be there that's a chicky too and chicky Michelle Bruce Nate and furry family whatever you do may all you share a wonderful Easter and spring your fa your friend Mary Cleveland Ohio thank you Mary that's so sweet of you and then she put the stickers look at the little stickers here from this is another one this is from Brenda look at that you sent me another beautiful one like just it was it you that sent me the one like this beautiful just beautiful may your days be many and your troubles few your loved ones safe and your friends all true I'm gonna read her read her little note she wrote in here <laughs> PS the cook sign on your stove oh wait that's the ending dear Michelle hello from chicken chicken Chickamaga. Oh, Chickamaga, Chickamaga, Georgia. <laughs> Chickamaga, Georgia. Wow. It's a small town in North, North Georgia. Very close to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Ever heard of us? Oh, I've heard of Chattanooga, Tennessee. That's for sure. Aha. Uh -huh. I found your channel through Miranda. My friend Miranda. <laughs> She's a hoot. She sure is. Love her and you love her and her family. Have you always lived in Canada? Yes, all my life. Even though I I'm really southern, uh I must have been living lived in the south in my, my before life. <laughs> I would love to visit one day. Oh, I'd love love to meet ya. I'm a little older than you, 58, been married 40 years to the best man ever. I have a 38-year-old son, no grandkids. I do have a border collie named Sandy. <laughs> Sandy's looking at me. Sandy, you got a friend named Sandy. <laughs> she is human to me. Oh, they're all human. Yes, they are. I love her so much. So very smart. Oh, she was a rescue. Your pups are cute, along with the bird, chickens, and ducks. If you get a chance, right back with, we'll be pen pals. Love your friend Brenda. <laughs> P.S. The cookie, the cook sign on your stove, I thought said cock. <laughs> a 
part of the O oh, was blocked when I saw it. Too funny. <laughs> I gave you my address label, so if you want to keep for your with the address, I love oh that I that is so sweet. And you actually told me about yourself, and you sent this beautiful card. Let the beauty of what you love do what you do. Let the beauty of what you love be what you do. <laughs> Thank you, Brenda. At one time, I used to write back to everybody, and it got overwhelming for me. It just did it. It got expensive, and it got so much. Um, like, not that I, sh I should probably write back to everyone, but I just had to, you know what I mean? I just had to because I get so many so many things and so many cards and messages and and uh it's just all so much to keep up with along with the channel and along with that comments so i just kind of stopped because it was just way too much for it taking so much of my time which you don't have to at all write me or send me anything i don't expect you to yeah, it just got overwhelming to me, uh, and I thought, you know, you gotta pick and choose, Michelle. <laughs> you can thank them on camera. That's the best thank you can give someone. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I uh, I try to give everybody a heart on their comment. I read every comment, and I try to comment, but I always don't. I'm a fail, too, at that. <laughs> it's just editing and working on a video every single day takes so much of my time and it's my way to pay you guys back that's how I do it I make sure I get a good video out to you every single day so I hope you appreciate it and hope some of you most of you understand it's it can get expensive and it can get time consuming where I could put my all my time and energy into these videos yeah so thank you very much to each and every one who sends me a card, a thought, a gift, a prayer, a comment. Yes. Okay, guys, it's time. We got to get in the kitchen now. Okay, if you know me, you know I like to make my sauce, spaghetti sauce with ragu. You know me. <laughs> Which is not available in Canada anymore, but Michelle has a cases of it. <laughs> I, I when it was on sale, I bought a few cases, and I've been going through them. And I, I noticed I can't believe there's a guy on Facebook Marketplace trying to sell it. People must be that desperate. Anyways, you know that's how I cook my sauce. I just Salt, pepper, spices, parmesan cheese, carrots, shredded carrots, and sugar. As I'm putting my spices in, I wanted to ask you, anybody else? Yesterday, I thought, well, 11.30, awesome. You know, I got my vlog put together. I got it uploaded to, to YouTube. It's there. I, I'm going to go to bed. So I can have be productive in the morning. <laughs> I tell them, and I says I tell myself I'm not, I'm not bringing my phone, I'm not looking at my phone, and um, yeah. Well, three thirty in the morning, I didn't pick up my phone, but I'm still, my mind's just sitting there wandering around. I'm wide awake, uh, and. I'm like, here I go again. I fail again at getting up at 6 in the morning to start a beautiful day. Like, does this happen to anybody else or is it just me? I think it's my menopause, but it's like I can't sleep a full night anymore. Oh, that's so frustrating. When you want to be so productive. You know what I mean? And I want to go to bed at a certain time and have a nice morning getting everything done and instead now today I'm I'm pushing myself I'm exhausted because I didn't sleep and all I want to do is sit around and sleep but I won't let myself know I won't let myself instead of cutting onions up sometimes I just use the dehydrated onion which works just as good yeah okay 
So, let me go get this done as I drag myself around. So does anybody else shred a carrot about this size into your spaghetti sauce? Makes it sweet and nice. Yeah. Once I've seen this and tried it, I haven't turned back. I always put a shredded carrot in my spaghetti sauce. And nobody knows, even knows it's there. Yeah. I also love to put a good garlic in there. Like three cloves at least. I got three cloves left. Hopefully it's time almost to pick to pick our garlic out of the garden. Look at that yummy stuff. Smell it, smell it, smell it. So yesterday when we were at uh, out I went to the Dollar Tree. I seen this gum at the cashier's station. <laughs> and I thought blackjack and then the clove one the clove one I never really heard of but we're going to try that next but this blackjack if you like black licorice it's good but I thought it was black cat does anybody anybody my age remember buying black cat gum and it was like a little bazooka it had black cat on it it was yellow and I think it had black cat on it I thought I found black cat gum. <laughs> Not really, but it's pretty interesting. I mean, I like it, but I like black. I like black licorice. But has anybody ever had the black cat gum my age? <laughs> it looked a little stale. This gum when I opened the one. So let's open this one and give the clove one a try. A try. Usually gum is um, more softer. <laughs> Every time I think of sticks, I think of my mom. She used to buy the double mint in the green, the green double mint, a big pack of it, you know. She'd always have it in her dresser drawer and when we want gum, we'd steal some. Uh-huh, she always had double mint gum. Yeah, so this is the clove. Yeah, see it breaks? Is that stale? Oh. No. That's wrong. Mm -mm. Oh. That's wrong. <laughs> like I go spit it out. Oh, that is so wrong. It reminds me of cloves that you cook with. Oh. Blah. This one's not bad though. And they only had one of the clove gums left. Maybe people like it. I don't know. This isn't too bad. But I wish I could find that black cat gum. Even I even searched before on retro candy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you something now. Yesterday when I made our s'mores with this it was ever amazing. Those s'mores were the best s'mores I ever had. Hershey, score. Give it a try, you guys. The best, the best, <laughs> the best s'more we ever had. <laughs> okay, for my lunar cake, you're gonna need one and a half cups of sugar. There I go, spilling it. <laughs> Half a cup of butter. I just softened it up a bit. Okay. One egg. One teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, Betty's going to mix that up real nice and creamy. Okay, then we're going to add two cups of flour in a separate bowl. I mix, I 
I do my dry ingredients in a separate bowl. So two cups of flour. Okay, two and a half teaspoons of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of salt. Just mix that up with a whisk. And then we'll put this aside as we make some buttermilk. Now I know you can make buttermilk with vinegar or lemon juice, but I have the powdered buttermilk I have gotten from the bulk board. So I'll make up a cup of that. So you're going to need a cup of buttermilk. Okay, you're going to need a cup of rhubarb and then you're just going to coat it with flour. See, I told you it'd be in the box with the mealworms. I didn't <laughs> say it wasn't. You said, oh no. I did Here it is. There's our movie, you guys, for tonight. Don't hit our friends. They'll get mad. One for you. Okay, so we're going to mix our dry ingredients with our wet ingredients. What are you making? A lunar cake, your mom's lunar cake. Oh, I love my mom. I know. She made a great lunar cake. She did. You guys would eat it in one day, I remember. No. Yes. No, they would no, eat no. it like, oh, like crazy in one day. Don't over mix it, just mix it gently. Okay, so now we're going to add a little bit of the buttermilk and the rhubarb. Mix it up and add a little more. Yeah, they used to fight in that household. Six of them. Six kids, they'd all fight over the, the sweets. <laughs> yeah. Bruce's brother, if he got a hold of them, they'd be gone. And nobody would get any, so they'd fight over it all. Growing up. Good thing Bruce's mom was a stay-at-home mom. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> that must have been in the bottom of the cup. That's okay. You're not going to die. People freak out over the silliest things. Not me. It's all real life here. Yeah. It's the way I like it. I'm just going to add the rest. I'm going to go mix this and we're going to go on to the next step. Okay, I think I said one cup of rhubarb. You're going to need four cups, but I'm just using what I have in my freezer here. It's quite a bit anyways, so I'm just guessing on the rhubarb. But if you grow it, you can... Make a good rhubarb cake. Ours is coming up, so it'll be here soon. Okay, so then you're going to spread that out in your pan. And then we're going to make the topping to go on top. Which is real simple. Okay, for the topping, you're going to need one cup of sugar. And I'm just going for the sugar I have in here. It pretty much will add up to... A cup, I'm pretty sure. Just gonna use it all up. If it's extra, oh well, the better. You need a quarter cup of butter. I softened it up a bit. And two teaspoons of, whoa, that's good, cinnamon. Okay, you can have the camera if you want it. Okay, we're going to bring our cake back over here. We're going to put this topping on top. All over the top. As you can see, I've used my dirty bowl to make the cinnamon top, the topping. 
because I've been a dishwasher. I've worked as a dishwasher for many years, let me tell you. I worked my ass off when I was younger, okay? And I was a dishwasher for years. That's hard work. And some cooks can be real buggers. And some are real nice <laughs> when it comes to dishes. If you ever been a dishwasher, you know what I mean. It doesn't hurt to reuse something if it's all going in the same hole anyways. Yes. Okay. That's it. We're going to get this spread out on the cake. Get it in the oven. We're going to have it for dessert with some ice cream tonight. That is Bruce's mum's lunar cake. Let me find the ingredient or the temperature to cook it at. Uh, 350 for 45 minutes. I'm going to go 40 because my oven cooks fast. Now i got to clean this mess up. Uh-huh. <laughs> Which I don't feel like doing, so I'm going to sit down for 10 minutes. Just 10 minutes, I promise. It's raining out, you guys. Bruce said it was hailing. Was it hailing, hon? Yeah, I don't know if I got it on film, though. Oh. It just started when it he's just He's been busy in the out, yard, so. but he's coming in because it's raining no, out there. Oh, I'm going back out. I'm you're going, going to get wet, honey. You're going to melt. Yeah, well, i got to finish a window. Looky, you're not very peppy today, honey. Looky. You're not very peppy today. Oh, Nookie. Ah! Okay, is there Coco in the house? Ah! Coco! Ah! Ah! Do you order Coney Dog ah! with chili ah! and extra cheese? Okay. Sandy, what did you order? Did you order Coney Dog too? Less cheese, more chili? There you go. Pony dogs! For the dogs! Where are they? I <laughs> didn't get them in film this time. <laughs> what the heck? There. <laughs> Enjoy your pony dogs! Hey. Did you run your coat on? These two are going to work on the greenhouse. Woo! Say hi, Nate. Oh, my helper. Oh, I had it in. Oh. I had you. In there it's warm, but I know. Just to get, to take that off in there. Here comes Zen, around the corner. <laughs> okay, lunar cake is coming out of the oven. Look at that. Where's my toothpick? Where did it go? There it is. Now well, she's clear. Clear to go. Okay guys, we're going to mix up our spaghetti and then we'll plate it up. Plate up our dinner plates. First of all, I like to put the spaghetti in a bowl. Okay, then I put the sauce in the bowl, mix it up. Zen, you want some noodles today? I just gave the girls noodles. They love spaghetti. For some reason, they love it. We got our sauce. Mix that up. I like to put some Parma in there too. More sauce for sure. Yes. <laughs> Mix that up and then we can plate it up you guys. Okay, let's plate this up. Mm. 
What are you guys having tonight for dinner? <laughs> Let me know. Give Bruce a little more. Okay. I like to put a little more sauce on top. I don't like to see spaghetti that don't look saucy. <laughs> it's got to be saucy. Saucy. Yes, it's got to be saucy. Mm-hmm. Parmesan cheese. It's got a rain Parmesan cheese. Okay. We have salad. And buns we gotta use up. First, you gotta put a nice amount of butter when you have a bun. You gotta put more butter than bun. Uh huh. Oh, the butter's hard. Oh, let me melt it. Okay. Softer butter now. There we go. Much softer. Even Nate gets a bun tonight. Yeah. We end it with pepper. A little bit of pepper. And that, my friends, today's dinner. And there's Nate's dinner tonight you guys we will have the perfect amount of sauce in the freezer for a lasagna one day look at that yeah a little bit of ground beef two pounds I think I turned into a few meals okay you guys we're ready to serve up uh, the rhubarb lunar cake and we're, we're going to do fancy plates tonight. Yes, we are. We're getting fancy. Yeah. Okay. Now this is wonderful. Served with ice cream. It's just amazing. And every year we sure enjoy it. I guess I should have sprayed my pan before I put my cake in. Michelle's not perfect though. And she forgets things. <laughs> but that's okay. It still turned out perfect, you know. Okay. Now we have some ice cream. I kind of cheated here a little bit and scooped them already out and put them on a plate. We used to do this at work. We'd scoop out all the bowls of ice creams and put them in the freezer for uh, what we always had a dessert uh, at the retirement home. And yeah, it was so much easier. We always loved when it was ice cream for dessert. We just took our trays out of the freezer and went out to the dining rooms and passed them around and you know everybody wanted ice cream. <laughs> it was, you, were, you knew you were going to be done serving lunch or dinner early. <laughs> yeah, I always had to, uh, some people, they, they dish it out, I can't remember whose job it was, but they dish it out, oh the, I think sometimes the prep cook's job sometimes to dish it out and put it in the freezer sometimes their portions would be like like this big I would get my ice cream out I would load those bowls up because seniors love ice cream 
<laughs> I was not ripping them off. Oh, you're going to fall. Okay, so let's go take a taste of this dessert before we say goodnight. And let me get some special, special spoons for this. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Here we go. Need a little bit of cake, a little bit of ice cream. Oh, Coke, I thought you were in your bed. Hang on. Coke's in her stroller. He wants to join us. Okay, here we are. Have your taste. Mm. Cinnamon, sugar, numb. <laughs> Bruce is outside putting the chickens away. He goes out there and he doesn't come back in for a while. He'll be in. We're going to watch John Golden Pond. Mm -hmm. Oh. He got called back to work next week. So this is his last week off. Son of a gun. Mm hmm. Absolutely delicious dessert. But make sure you have four cups of rhubarb. <laughs> so you can really taste that rhubarb in, in the pot in the cake. Mm-hmm. Well. Thanks you thank you so much guys for spending the day with us. Tomorrow's Pizza Friday. He's got all the garden out for me to plant my mom's garden where I'm putting some Seeds that I hope will attract butterflies to come and sit in the garden. So we'll be doing that. And if you want to come out hang out with us, you're more than welcome. We sure love having you. Good night, everyone. We'll see you guys in the next video. That would be me, hon, at the cottage. Yeah. So excited. <laughs> We're going out in the woods.